Wow. Oh my gosh. Too buttery, of course. Not too sweet. Mm. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a vlog where I show you behind the scenes of what happens in my micro bakery whenever I receive an order. So today, um, I will be working on pe my peach cobbler recipe. I received an order for an apple cobbler and a peach cobbler. And so, as usual, I went and did some research just to see what recipes are out there, you know, what's trending. And I found out that um, there are two different ways to make a cobbler. You can make one with biscuit crust and then the other with a pie crust. What I remember, the cobblers that I've eaten, I think they mostly had um, biscuit crusts. I probably have only had about three or four cobblers in my life. I am not a big fan of cobblers. Um, and I, like I said, I think they've all had biscuit toppings or crusts or both. Like biscuit on the bottom and then biscuit on the top. So anyway, um, this is my first test making peach cobbler using a recipe that I found that seemed to be pretty consistent um, throughout uh, the recipes that I found. Um, this recipe uh, seems to be pretty consistent. Like a lot of people was have been using it. So I'm going to try it out. I did some substitutions. I did add um, some whole wheat flour, as I always do, and I cut the sugar in half. Um, and I, that's pretty much, oh, and I did not use a self-rising flour. I made my own self-rising flour, just because I don't like to use ingredients that have add, added ingredients to it. I like to add my own. So. Um, come join me behind the scenes as I try out my recipe for peach cobbler. Alright, I started off with some all-purpose flour, 45 grams, whole wheat flour, 45 grams. And then I put in a little bit of leavening, which was the baking soda, or I'm sorry, baking powder. And that was one and a quarter teaspoons. And then I added a little bit of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon. Mix that all together. That evening, I gave the peaches a bath in some water and vinegar, and then I scored them at the top. And then I put them in some boiling water to help um, with the peeling, speed up the peeling process. And then I put them straight into a bath of ice water. And then here I am peeling the peaches, attempting to cut them into wedges and then peeling them and I had such a hard time doing this. I did not, I failed to get the um, peaches that, um, I think they were, they're called uh, clean peaches, or I can't remember what they're called, but the kind of peaches that I got were not the kind that came clean off of the, the uh, pit. So I had to force the peach off of the pit. Um, I had a hard time, as you can see. It took a while, and this is just half of the video. <laughs> I struggled a lot. And the, the, um, the hot water bath didn't, all, didn't help um, every slice. Here I'm just showing you, it's probably about um, two and a half cups to three cups of peaches and it was about four peaches total So now it's the next day. I put a half a uh, quarter of a cup of butter in the um, In the pan and put that in the oven at 350 degrees now I'm adding some cinnamon and some tapioca flour some brown sugar and some cane sugar uh, I did a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of cane, actually no, 
two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of the um, cane sugar. And then I did an eighth or a quarter of a teaspoon of tapioca flour. Mix that all together. Then I add some cinnamon to the biscuit mix, um, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon to the biscuit mix just to give it some flavor. And then I added some milk, which was three quarters cup of milk. I felt like that was too liquidy, but I went with it to see what, it, what happened. I was trying to get the lumps out, that's why it took a while to to uh, mix. So I got the butter out of the oven and then I poured the batter on top of the butter. I did not stir and then I put the peaches right on top of that. I distributed them as um, evenly as possible. It is out of the oven so I'm gonna just get a little bit. Let's cool down. <coughs> Here is my taste test for the cover with biscuit topping. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's buttery, of course, not too sweet. Mm. I might adjust the amount of liquid that I put in the crust because it seems to be a little gummy. Not quite like a biscuit consistency. Consist consistency. But oh my gosh, these are delicious. Mmm. <coughs> Thank you for watching guys. I plan to do some more testing of these cobbers because I wasn't quite happy with the consistency of the biscuit that I used in this recipe. So I'm going to do some more testing and post those videos. But until then, check out my others where I show you behind the scenes of my micro bakery.